Hello and welcome to this um, hopefully short introduction to using new Google Sites and we're making the tutorial because uh, new Google Sites is, is a fairly simple to use uh, good looking option for us to develop um, some fast track blended and online learning packages for the different modules uh, offered by Acacia. Um, so uh, most of you have got Gmail, I hope all, all, all of you have got Gmail, so you should be familiar with this little Rubik's Cube here of the applications that are available, sorry I'll just close that, of the applications that are available within Google. So Google Docs, uh, Gmail, Drive, Slides, etc. Um, the one I'm uh, going to show you now is Google sites now you may think you're familiar with google sites some of you um, but it has changed and when we're creating a site um, resist the temptation to click on this button here the create button because that will create for you one of the old style google sites we're interested in this one here which is new google sites so if i click on that i'll see all the new google sites that i've created in this case only two of them under this account that i've got here um, I can uh, click on this plus button down at the bottom, hope you can see that, and that will take me to a blank template for site creation. And this is the basic workspace or dashboard for site creation or site editing. And it's, it's really quite intuitive. Uh, we have three options here, the insert option, which gives us all the different things that we can insert into our uh, site with a click of the mouse, um, allows us to create new pages. So we've got a home page at the moment, but we can, by clicking here, uh, add a sub page to that or add a new page. And then over here, we've got different themes that will change the appearance of your site. So uh, you could have a look at those and see see what impact. Sorry, see what impact it has on your on your uh, on your site we'll go back to the simple one at the top here okay well first thing to do is to give this a, a title so this is a uh, let's call it a sites demo uh, <clears throat> and then we can um, put it in here as well sites i thought that might come up i'm not sure what i did so sites demo we could add a logo and um, i think by adding a logo that kind of also influences the color scheme of your of your site. Uh, but I'll check that before I, I confirm it. So we've got a page title here. I'm going to be boring. So I'll call it home page. Uh, and you can see that doesn't quite fit. OK, so I can either stretch the box. I can change the font from what they call title font to heading. Or to subheading. I can justify it, right, maybe, and I can even move it around in the uh, in the space at the top here. So I've got a home page. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the insert option up here. Okay, well, this I don't like this uh, background to my home page uh, header, so I can click change the image, and I can either upload an image from my computer. Uh, or I can select an image. So if I click select an image, I can select an image uh, from the gallery here, which is uh, like this. Or I could do it by URL. I could search for an image, such as Siamese cat. There we are, and I could select one of them. Uh, I could go to Google Drive and select an image. Well, that's handy. Here's a couple. Uh, I went to Henry on Thames um, yesterday. It was a lovely sunny day. Went to visit um, Henley College and uh, took a couple of pictures. Here's one of them. I'll select that. And you'll see now it's as easy as that. It goes into my header as, as an image. And um, I can change it anytime I like. Um, and I can change the header type as well to large banner or normal banner or well, if i don't want that i could just have a title i quite like the banner um so there we are anytime you want to preview your site just go here and click preview it's as simple as that and that will then also allow you to see how your site looks 
you see these options down here on a mobile phone, on an iPad, or on a laptop. So um, I think that's quite a nice feature. If we go back now to our site into editing mode, I just closed the preview to do that. We come to the basic building blocks of new Google Sites. So the first thing I'll do is put in a text box and it comes up just like that. And I can say, welcome. Say anything you like. Welcome to my home page. Uh, and exclamation mark. And shall I center that? Well, why not? I'll do center alignment. And there we are. Welcome to my home page. Well, I'm talking about text boxes. Um, just have a look over here. Um, you can change the background, change the emphasis. So that makes it a grey background. That gives it uh, emphasis two, which in this theme is a blue colour. Or you can click on image, select an image, upload an image, or select an image. Any of these ones in the gallery. If you scroll down, they're not all sort of dream sequences. You get some uh, solid color bars like this. So I could choose that and select it. And that goes in there. Welcome to my home page. So that's all quite simple. So far, it's beginning to look reasonably attractive with uh, the photo, the page title, and then a little bit of text here. And of course, the more I type, um, the more the text box expands. So I could have quite a hefty um, chunk of text. Other things to uh, think about while we're here in the um, in the text box, um, I could put in a I could put in a link anywhere I like, uh, highlighting any text in any text box, and just put in a URL. So um, let's just put in. Put in BBC weather and apply. And not quite what's happened there. Let's try that again. And apply. Not quite sure what, what went wrong the first time, but there we are. And we have a link to any website you like or any resource that you like. Lots of other ways you can use these insert features. Um, you can upload anything from your computer. Um, we've already changed the image on the header, but you can click on images here and you get the same options. You could search for an image, you could go to your albums, or you can put something in from your from your Google Drive. So there's my pictures again. I don't have a lot of a uh, lot of pictures on this um, on this site. I don't think. So let's have a look. Not really. But I can choose any picture I like. Select, and in it goes there. And that's a nice picture, I think, in in Bruges. So there we are. I can put a picture, and then another thing I can do if I wanted to, I could accompany that with. Um, I hope it is Bruges. So I could put in another text box and then move it up. You see what I did? I just moved it up here and I could type more text or I could, I think this is quite neat, I could just put it there. And there we are. And then I've got room for another picture or a, a, a little YouTube or a text box right over here on the right hand side. So um, it really is uh, quite simple to use. One thing I should mention at this stage perhaps is that uh, you do need to occasionally, I think, publish your site just to make sure that everything's saved. Um, and you can change the settings of who can see it by clicking on manage. I'm, I'm happy with whatever we've got here at the moment. So I'll click publish. And then you will see, uh, you'll see, slowly, slowly. Oops, let's make sure, that maybe I missed the link. Um, 
bear with me. It's just off your screen. So I'm just going to pause for a moment. Yeah, just off the recording screen at the bottom is a little option to see the published site, but you can do it up here as well. So let's have a look at the published site. And there we are. The picture should just be loading. There it is. Uh, Henry on Thames. There's my welcome to the homepage. There's my link. There's the weather. Back to my site. There's Bruges. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. So we'll go back to our uh, editing page and um, I'll show you now how to do a couple more things with new Google Sites. I only have about four or five minutes left um, on this uh, 15 minute max video. So I'll show you a couple of things quickly that are quite important. So I'll scroll down my page, my Google Site. Here we are. Uh, I'm in editing mode. I'm going to show you now how to put in a YouTube video. Um, the first thing to do is make sure you've got a YouTube video in mind and that you can click on this share button or that you know the URL. Here's my URL. Copy that. So let's make sure that that's copied. And um, once I've got that URL, I come back to my site demo. I click on YouTube. I could, of course, just search for a YouTube video uh, or I can paste in that, uh, that link that URL. There's my YouTube video. Select it. In it goes. And there's my YouTube video, which I can, if I want to, oops, just put it next to the picture of Bruges to make my uh, front page look a little bit more balanced. Okay, well, there we are. And uh, I'll just preview this to show you what happens. There is the, um, there is my page. And uh, there's the video. I cut my scroll bars off screen, but uh, there's the video looking good at the moment uh, on my page. That's what it would look like on a mobile phone. Now I can scroll back. And uh, there's the video. We can play the video. We could go into full screen, whatever. OK, I've got to rush a little bit now because my time's running out. We're back to editing mode. I'm going to show you now just quickly how to put in something from Google Drive. Now, this could be a document. It could be a slideshow. It could be uh, almost anything you like. So um, you can look at, uh, you can find anything. If I put in a document, it's as easy as that. It's just, I just have to now select that uh, and it'll go into the, uh, there's the document and insert. And there it is. And I can actually just, I can extend what the uh, viewer of the site sees by just scrolling down on these, um, on these uh, tug handles down here. So there we are. That's um, something, a document that I made for um, 5RST. Good. Well, uh, I'll come back to the top here. Let's pause my video. So here we are. We've got our header. We've got our titles. I've put in a video, a picture a document. And one thing left I want to show you is how to we'll go back to Google Drive. And I'm going to show you now just how to put in this is a, a Google slideshow. Um, so I've got uh, one of those. And you can just again, click insert, Oops. click insert. And there we have Google Slides, which um, we can expand to full screen um, or put text alongside. We can play it. Uh, I would have to do that in preview mode. Just have another quick look at that. So we're in uh, phone mode again. So there's that. There's our document. Here's our slideshow. I'll, I'll move it to the big screen. Um, bear with me one second. Yeah, that was unfortunately just a one slide video, so I'm going to show you that again. So from Drive, and I'll go to Recent, and I have one there, uh, PowerPoint RST Session 1, Insert, and there is my YouTube video. Well, that's all I've got time for. I'll do part two in a moment, showing you how to use the Acacia template.